Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create your own Fusion Node macros in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.7. Inside my edit window, I currently have one Fusion composition on my edit timeline. The techniques that you will see illustrated in this tutorial can also be applied to adjustment clips that can also be found in the effects library, under toolbox and effects along with the fusion composition effect or to normal video clips that you add to your timeline from the media pool master bin. If we right click on our fusion composition clip here and go to open in fusion page, inside my nodes panel, I have added two nodes to my media out one node to create text with array effect. Selecting the text one node underneath inspector and text I have added my message for the screen inside the style text box and have set the text size to 0.25, keeping the text in white. If I select my Rays node, back in Inspector and Controls, I have modified the default value for weight, reducing this to 0.87. How are you able to compile a set of nodes together? with all these property settings in a single node so that you are able to use this effect again either in the same project or in a different project within the software without having to add all the nodes and adjust the variable values like so once again. Hold Control and select each of the nodes in Fusion apart from Media Out 1. Use Command instead of Control if you are a Mac user. Right click on any of the nodes that you have selected and go to Create Macro. You should see the node labels appearing on the left side of the macro editor, such as the Raise 1 title here for example, representing the second node in my Fusion window, or Text 1 representing my initial node. If I left click on the arrow next to this label, all variables of this particular node will be revealed. If I were to tick all of these boxes inside the macro editor for a particular node, all inspector variables for this particular node will appear in the custom made node which you will create. For now, what I will only select will be the variables that I have modified for this particular text effect. Under Raise 1 and Controls, we can find the weight property for example, which I reduced previously to 0.87. And for the text 1 node, I will tick on style text so that I am able to change the message in my text node. I will also tick red one clone, green one clone, blue one clone and alpha one clone so that I am able to modify the colour in my new macro. And finally since I adjusted the size from its default value I will tick this property also. To give your macro a name Fill in the box at the top of your macro editor window, replacing macro tool 1. In this example here, I will call my macro name text with rays. Once complete, go to file and save as. Save your custom made macro under DaVinci Resolve support fusion and macros, which will be the default directory that appears in the save window. Click on save. To test my new node, I will disconnect the line between Raise 1 and Media Out 1 by clicking on the section of the line closest to the yellow arrow next to Media Out 1. Hold Shift and press Space. Inside the Select Tool window, use the search box at the bottom to find your custom made macro. Select this and go to click on Add. Click on the grey box of your new node and drag this to the yellow arrow by Media Out 1 to make a connection. Select your custom made node and underneath Inspector we can see the variables that we previously ticked in our macro editor. These all contain the original values that we set in the previous nodes in our Fusion window also and are modifiable. Saving the DaVinci Resolve user from having to manually add multiple nodes to create the same effect. To edit your custom made macro at any time, go to Fusion and Macro Editor in your toolbar. Inside the Macro Editor window, go to File 
and open. Select the relevant node from the macros directory, click open, and you are able to modify your macro once again. After making changes, go to file and save. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.